if we go to Jupiter Uranus, then we we can see the radicalism again with with Uranus, but a kind of br the, 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 there's a brightness from Jupiter. There's a the possibility of going beyond limitations. And with all of these, what what seems to happen is that events seem to constellate around these times. And again, looking at the Jupiter Uranus cycle, which is a 14 to 15 year cycle, so every 14 to 15 years those planets make a conjunction and then they will unfold in opposition every seven or eight years. And um, if we look back, we can see, uh, I've already mentioned the moon landing, right bang on the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction 41 years ago, 1969, in July 1969. Jupiter-Uranus still on the wide conjunction with, with Pluto. And what a moment, you know, this... Things that, were, that previously we can't even imagine suddenly happen on the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. It, it, they come out of the blue. They surprise us. Technological breakthroughs. If we look back through the history of the 20th century, we've got the first aviation experiments on a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. We have the outbreak of World, World War I um, coming through in, in, in 1914. First radio broadcast in uh, 1920. Charles Lindbergh's first non-stop flight across the Atlantic in 1927. Um, the first sound motion TV picture comes on a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in 27. We have uh, Tolkien publishing Lord of the Rings, the beginning of the whole of rock and roll in the, in the mid-50s. Um, the, 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 uh, Uranus is all about rebellion, isn't it? So we have the films of, of rebellion coming out in the mid-50s, um, East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause on the Waterfront, all these films come around that time. Blackboard Jungle is produced at that time, you know, one of the iconic moments in the development of rock and roll and that whole culture. The Beat Poets, Kerouac's On the Road comes out at that time as well. Then if we then we go to 69, we've got Woodstock, Moon Landing, um, first broadcast of Monty Python on a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Libra. The first ever internet transmission happens at that time as well. Um, we move through to 76 on the opposition and we have um, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak um, develop the first ever personal computer, the Apple computer, in 76. Um, we've got in, uh, in 83 we have the first US woman to travel in space. We've got a um, big major, major boost for gay rights, the legalisation of um, homosexuality around that time as well. Then, of course, in 89, we have Perestroika, the falling of the Berlin Wall on the opposition. And, and now here we are with, with Jupiter Uranus moving into Aries, some really radical stuff happening in the world, quite aggressive in Aries. We're seeing some really quite extreme uh, happenings in the news. You know, we've, we've, had, we've had mass shootings. We've just had this kind of Wild West Raoul Moot case up in the north of England as well, you know, it's just, it does feel a bit Wild West, Jupiter Uranus in Aries, you know, it's got this kind of quality of, of just gung-ho, and, but at the same time I think we're going to see some very progressive, very sudden, dramatic, unprecedented, progressive moves, as well as, as well as violent, aggressive moves as well at the same time. So, all these things coming together now, and we're all, we're all kind of in this, I mean, I'm talking to people all the time, I'm getting clients through the door who are going through extraordinary experiences, changes, there's breakdowns in relationships, there are family crises, there are sort of breakdowns in people's um, life experience and, and vocational changes, all sorts of extraordinary things happening and the pressure is building for change, it's inevitable, we're living unsustainably, our planet is clearly unsustainable in the way that we're going with it and we're on the cusp of something really remarkable. I'm running a series of workshops. Um, the next one is in Glastonbury on the 8th of August, which is right on the Grand Cross. I'm running this right on the Grand Cross weekend, 8th of August uh, 2010 in Glastonbury. See my website for details. It's www.kairosastrology.co.uk.